Okay, y'all. We just got done doing battle with Mr. Diamondback Rattlesnake. And since we don't like to let anything go to waste, we're going to eat him. We're going to deep fry him. First thing you're really going to need is one of these. It's kind of like a special gut hook. This is actually the cut carpet. It works extremely well. So you got your Mr. Rattlesnake laid out. And what you want to do is we took First thing you need to do is remove the head so it doesn't bite you. Because they will bite you even after they're dead. And you just go right down the center, just like this. And this works extremely well. You kind of hold the body since it's a reptile, it's going to move. You can pull on it, like pull on the head, pull on the spine, and that stops the squirming. But I don't have any issue with the squirming, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it, skin it this way. Now I'm going to save this uh, snake skin, so that's why I'm kind of being a little bit extra careful here. Now it comes out pretty easy. Just stick your fingers, peel it, peel it off the skin here on the side, like that. Just kind of peel it around. Now I'm going to take off this, this awful of bird shot where it was shot, a rat shot, and then you just peel down. Just like that. So one cut down the center, and then just work it around and come down like this. You want to be careful at the end of the tail, strictly because it'll start to rip, and if you want to keep the, the beads on the snake skin, you got to be kind of careful. Some people want it on there, other people don't. It doesn't really matter, it's up to you. It's your snake. Okay, I'm down to the bead. So then what we do is we just go ahead and remove the tail. And now what you have is a carcass and a skin. Now I'm gonna save this skin because I know a boot maker and he likes to use these for certain things. Now, to gut it, you got an all white meat, just kind of grab it here. With your fingers, you get underneath the esophagus, the lungs, the windpipe, all that, and it makes a nice handle. And just kind of wrap your hand like this, and it will all just come with you, just like that. Now, if you have a buddy, always let him do it, but I'm the buddy today. Just get down here to the very bottom and take it all out. Now this last piece here is the tail. You want to just go ahead and remove it. Because it's too small to eat anyway. And of course this bloody end. I'm going to take that off. you're looking at it's all white meat I'm gonna tell you it tastes like frog legs if you don't know what frog legs taste like taste like rabbit if you don't know what rabbit tastes like it tastes like chicken and 
I knew you knew where I was going there. So let's go deep fry this thing. We're going to rinse it off and then cut it into short chunks. Batter it and fry it. That's how you clean a rattlesnake.